What is up guys, George right here. Today we're talking about iOS 9.2.1, the newest version of iOS 9.2.1 that was just released by Apple. Yep, you heard me. Apple released a new version of iOS 9.2.1 in order to fix the uh, the bug with uh, 1970 that breaks your device. And also, and most important, they uh, released this version in order to fix the error 53 for which they apologize. Now, you probably know that if you have an iPhone 6, 6 plus, 6 plus, whatever, uh, and uh, so on, or an iPad with Touch ID, but everything else than iPhone 5S, and you replace the screen and don't keep the original, um, the original fingerprint sensor, then when you try to restore your device, everything works fine, but when you try to restore your device, you will end up having the error 53. And this is how it looks like. This is what iTunes will basically say. Uh, the iPhone iPhone could not be restored. An unknown error 53 occurred. Okay. So uh, Apple basically fixed this error. Now, if you have such broken device in your, uh, in your house and you think you're pissed up, because you lose money, then you can fix it right now and actually, as I said, Apple apologized for this error. Now, this measure uh, was taken because a lot of uh, devices were um, were broken and I heard something about some um, low and so on. Apple has some low problems and uh, um, FBI re recently um, requested Apple to create a backdoor in their uh, product in order to be able to uh, gain access on the um, on the locked devices faster if required and of course Apple denied you can actually read the uh, Apple letter from Tim Cook to FBI if you want on the uh, Apple website the link is in the description but this error 53 which uh, was unsolvable in the past in order to fix this error you had to go to uh, Apple store and um, pay a lot of money such as I don't know two two thousand uh, uh, sorry two two uh, hundred dollars in order to replace the um, touch ID button and so on in order to pay pair it with your motherboard and only Apple could have um, could have done that and now you can fix it in your own house for free but keep in mind that you can't download this over the year you have to um, you have to go and uh, in iTunes, the latest version, and uh, actually connect your device and download the new version manually. The build number of the new iOS 9.2.1 is 13D20, and uh, of course it's different than the latest version. So um, let's talk a little bit about that uh, that bug too. But uh, if you have this error 53, your device should show this thing. This is the uh, recovery mode and the um, one of the new Apple uh, iTunes logos is not the newest as you can see right here. Uh, now it should be replaced with this logo which is the latest version but this is basically to make an idea. Um, if you restore your device with, um, with that uh, third party touch ID then you get error 53 in iTunes and your phone will get stuck into this thing and you can't restore it uh, anymore, you can't power it on. Now if you if you use the latest version of iOS 9.2.1 you can restore your device and get access to it successfully but I think the uh, Touch ID sensor will get disabled if it's a third party one. Okay, so you won't be able to use Touch ID if you have a third party component installed on your device but you can still use your uh, passcode protection and so on. So it actually becomes like an iPhone 5 if you want where you have no Touch ID. Uh, but if you of course if you keep your um, original Touch ID sensor before you change your, uh, your screen, your uh, touch screen, then you will be able to use your Touch ID sensor again. So this is very cool from Apple, I didn't expect such update from Apple, but it seems to be very good. Also, they fixed the uh, the bug that breaks your phone. You know, you know if you set your uh, device to uh, January 1st, 1917, your phone, and reboot your phone, your phone will get stuck on this thing. As you can see in the image, this is whatever you will see, and your phone will uh, actually get very hot, and will stay like this until the battery dies. 
In order to fix that, you had to um, to take off this screen using the uh, screwdriver to take off the uh, screws from the bottom of the phone and actually disconnect the battery using uh, some screwdriver in order to take out the um, the connector. You can check a video down in the description in order how to do that. But now, but now you have to simply restore it. Of course, if you if you choose to restore your device, then of course you will uh, basically. Uh, lose everything, but if you have important data, you can still follow the video I made in the description But now this bug is no longer present if you set your uh, data date into um, January 1st 1970 or even um, Older your your phone will actually start normally and um, uh, Apple of course uh, said that they will create an update and actually this is the update. Well, I'm very surprised the update is not called iOS 9.2.2, but this is it. So this is basically it, guys. Apple um, took this um, those two sec security issues very serious and uh, they created a uh, fix for it. So no more error 53 and no more um, recovery mode on the phone due to that and also no more um, stuck at Apple logo due to January 1st 1970 so the pranks about it will actually end. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, to like and share for more information about jailbreak and iOS devices and iOS related things. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you up in the next episode. George right here.